What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Touchdown Replay, your number one source for sports recaps, highlights, news, all that awesome stuff right here on Touchdown Replay. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for all notifications. We are heading into the major leagues of baseball once again here on Touchdown Replay. And we got a great video here for you today. The San Francisco Giants leapfrog the Dodgers in standings with first sweep in LA since 2012. That's right, their first season series sweep, doing it on the road. First time in LA since 2012. Now the Giants haven't had many visits to LA comparable to this weekend, completing a rare rivalry series sweep on the road with a 7-3 win over the Dodgers on Sunday. How awesome is that, man? Now it was the sixth time in San Francisco that they swept the LA Dodgers in a three-game series at Dodgers Stadium. Both teams moved to California in 1958 and something they hadn't done since August 20th to the 22nd of 2012. Now despite doing it in impressive fashion, outscoring the Dodgers 29 to 8 during the series, what stood out is Giants pitcher Logan Webb, who is now routine in these performances, having become during a seven game winning streak that is insane with the past six of his starts coming on the road in st louis and los angeles i think we're more excited about the road trip in itself than the three games here he said just thought we played really good baseball and kept it going lamonte wade jr and lewis matos each had two runs batted in webb with six and six allowed two runs in seven innings and the giants had won 10 of 12. That is amazing. San Francisco continued to pile up runs in bunches, hammering Tony Gonsolin 4 for 2 for a career high of 7 runs in 5.23 innings. While the lineup couldn't get a read on Gonsolin through 3 innings, they figured things out with a second look. Now, Wade Jr. started the 4th inning by drawing a walk and Jock Peterson was hit by a pitch. Ouch. That's gotta hurt, man. Now, Wade would score from 3rd on a long foul out by Mike. Michael Confrodo to make it 1-0. With the Giants, they went up 2-0 on Mike Yastrzemski's single that drove in Peterson. Yes, that's right. They got a 2-0 lead early on, and San Francisco picked up another run in the 5th before breaking the game open in the 6th. Wow, that is some crazy stuff. Now, Matos pushed the lead out to 5-2 with a two-run double down the left field line and added the sixth run of the afternoon on Sobel's double. Wade then capped off the weekend by collecting his seventh RBI in the past two games. That's phenomenal. Tony's a really good pitcher and he's been able to manufacture some runs and do really good things, Webb said. Though the Dodgers had chances to tie it up, getting within 2-1 to one in the fourth on James Outman's RBI single and 3-2 in the fifth with Freddie Freeman's leg out with a double with one out and scored on David Peralta's straight up the middle. Webb always came back with the right responses. Now he's becoming one of the more durable and dependable starting pitchers in baseball, Giants manager Gabe Kepler said. Every time out, he's kind of making us feel like we can win, so that's what a horse does. Now for the slumping Dodgers who have dropped four of their past five and 10 of 15, since the start of June, they couldn't seem to get out of their own way. It started with LA's first trip to the plate, ending with Outman striking out, looking with the bases loaded. Wow. Continued with a series of near misses at the plate and in the field. You could pull coals in what Tony did or didn't do, but I think today, across the board, we just did some things that have come back to haunt us, Dodgers manager Dave Roberts said. LA made things interesting in the bottom of the ninth by loading the bases with one out. Camilo Doval hit Will Smith to make it 7-3 before striking out Peralta and getting Martinez to fly out to right. So yeah, man, wow, that would have been, this was an awesome game. Great stuff here. By the way, if you're new, subscribe, turn on that bell for notifications. And that's going to do it for this edition of Touchdown Replay, your number one source for all things sports, highlights, news, recaps, eventual commentaries. We're going to be also going to be getting into live streaming some major sporting events here on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you in the next Touchdown Replay. Take care.